In this video, we are going to understand the proof of Legendre's duplication formula. This is Legendre's duplication formula and we have to prove it. Since we know that gamma function can be written as several ways, one is as given, in, given here, that is in terms of product of product of uh, infinite terms another is some improper integral or in limit forms but in this uh, but in this video we are going to take infinite product okay so since gamma z is defined as this so we are going to take log both sides but before that let me introduce you this comma this is called Euler's constant okay so after that take log both sides so this becomes what this side becomes log of gamma z and this side becomes log of this whole thing but since we know that log of a by b is equal to log a minus log b so this becomes log a minus log b and this is product of these all terms so while applying log this product becomes summation since log a b is equal to log a plus log b and, and this is product of infinite terms so this is summation of these all terms under log okay after applying log in uh, in this product sign that is inside the uh, summation sign we will separate the, the numerator and denominator also so this becomes log uh, log e to the power z, z over n minus log of 1 plus z over n okay now this one is e this is log base e so uh, only minus gamma z comes out okay. so minus gamma z minus log z and this remains the same ex uh, except this uh, this log e to the power z by n becomes only z by n since this is also log base e now differentiating both sides after dif uh, differentiate this this becomes what with respect to z this becomes 1 by gamma z and this one is d dx of gamma z okay and this becomes minus z and this log z becomes 1 by z and this is as you can see 1 by n minus 1 by this over 1 by this into 1 by n since this is a coefficient of z right here 1 by n is a coefficient of z so let us simplify this and this n gets cancelled out it becomes 1 over z plus n okay now dif we differentiate it again with respect to z so the left hand side becomes d d, d d z over this okay once we have applied differentiation so log gamma z becomes this and again we are differentiating this so this becomes d d z of this okay so minus gamma is a constant so this becomes zero and minus 1 by z becomes 1 over z squared and 1 by n is constant again so inside summation we get only what we get only 1 over z plus n whole square and this minus becomes uh, this minus becomes plus because the 1 by z uh, 1 by z plus n is in the denominator okay and since this summation runs from n is equal to 1 to infinity now put n is equal to 0 right here what does it become it becomes 1 over z square similar to this this is 1 over z square so to take this term inside the summation we will do we will run the summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity okay if we put n is equal to 0 this terms get inside summation okay and now we put we put uh, z is equal to 
z plus 1 over 2 in play, uh, in in equation 1 okay so what it becomes it becomes 1 or summation 1 over z plus 1 by 2 we have to put z plus 1 by 2 in place of z right here okay so it becomes z plus 1 by 2 plus n now add 1 and 2 so after adding 1 1 and 2 this becomes this becomes what this becomes 1 by z plus n whole square and z plus half plus n whole square okay now first uh, first consider this uh, this term okay just simply add it it becomes 2z plus 2n plus 1 and the 4 right here goes to the uh, goes to the numerator okay since this is a 2 and this is square so it becomes 4 and goes to numerator similarly we will multiply 4 on the numerator and denominator and since there is a square so to take the 4 inside this square we have to make it 2, two. so it becomes 2z plus 2n now observe this is uh, this is 2z plus 2n and this is 2z plus 2n plus 1 whole uh, the whole thing is under a summation this is even numbers and this is odd numbers when the summation runs from 0 to infinity so so if we combine both of them it becomes 2z plus n since uh, since the new, since the denominator covers all even numbers as well as odd numbers so so combining them we can write 2z plus n whole square okay now we write a2 outside the summation and and another 2 inside the inside the summation and why do we do this because see the, see the equation 1 which is like this okay so if we put 2z in place of z it becomes what it becomes 2z plus n plus there will be a2 on the numerator why since since when you differentiate this one this thing is not z this is 2z so applying chain rule you have to differentiate this 2z plus n also and this becomes 2 on the numerator okay now this equation uh, this equation becomes 2 into ddz of gamma dash 2z over gamma 2z okay using the equation 1 now writing the full equation as this now we will integrate this equation and this ddz will will be cancelled this ddz will be cancelled and this one also and a is a, a is an arbitrary constant also since this gamma dash z is d of gamma z over gamma z and and we know that dx over x uh, integration dx over x becomes what it becomes log of x so this is d of gamma z over gamma z so on integration it becomes log of gamma z similarly this one also becomes log of gamma z plus half but for this one for this one we have to divide the uh, it, it becomes log of gamma 2z but we have to divide this in this term by 2 since this is 2z not only z okay this is 2z so we have to divide 2 so this 2 gets cancelled out and a becomes az and b is arbitrary constant now we will eliminate log by taking exponential okay so this becomes uh, gamma z into gamma z plus half and so on okay now we have to find the values of a and b and how will we how will we do that just simply put 
z is equal to 1 and z is equal to half. Why do you put that? Since this is simplest value of z. Put z is equal to 1 in this equation. What it becomes? z is equal to 1. That means gamma of 1 which is 1. And gamma of root 3 over 2 which is uh, half gamma half. And gamma half means root over pi. Okay. So this uh, on putting z is equal to 1. Equation 3 becomes this. And on putting z is equal to half. This equation becomes this. Okay. Now you get uh, you get these two equations now divide this one by this one you get what you get e to the power a over 2 equal to half so e to the power a equal to 1 over 4 squaring both sides and when e to the power a is equal to 1 over 4 so from this equation we get e to the power b is equal to 2 root 2 root pi now from this equation 3 from this equation 3 we get the final result this okay now this proves Legendre's duplication formula okay so this is this completes the proof thank you for watching